I'm not sure who this message is for, but God just placed this message on my heart and I want to be obedient and make this video. Whoever you are watching this video, I pray that you stay until the end of the video because I really want you to get everything that I'm about to share with you, okay? You cannot pour out from an empty cup. You the type of person, you like to help everybody, but you never help yourself. You like this water bottle right here. You want to you wanna pour in all the other water bottles, help everybody, be that encouragement, be used by God. That's the type of person that you are. You know what I'm saying? But check this out. You can't pour from an empty cup. And see, God does not want us to be at a point to where we're, we're burnt out or we're empty. Because guess what? We ain't worth nothing now. <laughs> How can you pour from this empty bottle? Many of us, y'all, we feeling burned down. We feeling discouraged. We feeling cranky. All this stuff going on. And the enemy got you right where he wants you. And the next thing the enemy wants you to do is to, look, go ahead and just crush the bottle. You done with. God, God ain't going to use you. You know, the enemy want to capitalize off of those thoughts. The enemy wants you to say, that's it, man. I, you know, I, I, I'm not even sure if God even wants to use me. I'm not even sure if I'm worth anything. I'm not even sure if God hear my prayers. I'm not even sure if that. The enemy just wants you to do this and be done. And go back to the old way you used to live. That's comfortable, right? But what does Jesus want you to do? Jesus wants you to say, hold on a second now. Hold on a second. You are not your thoughts. You understand? You got to get into his word, man. I just finished reading uh, Ephesians chapter one. Let me tell you, I was reading it. And at the same time with my phone, I had the audio in, right? So I'm listening to the audio and I'm reading it at the same time because I'm just being honest, I got a, a short attention span. So I, sometimes I read while I hear the audio at the same time and you know it's kind of like two things at one time and I'm able to really engage in that but anyway oh I know I'm about to tell you listen enemy try to crush you but what Jesus wants you to do he wants you to get into his word so instead of relying on those thoughts that the enemy's trying to use you can understand who you are see your identity is with divinity listen you are a child of God you were chosen right you were elected you were selected appointed and anointed for such a time as this and see when you get into that word guess what Jesus do Jesus breathe that life back into you man you used to be like this right look at you look at you man now look you like Lord feel me <laughs> Lord feel me I want to be you Lord I understand Lord I'm glad I got that revelation I understand that the fight is not over yes the enemy may have knocked you out in round number three but guess what you, you don't stood back up now you ready for another round if he catch you on the chin again you might go down but but go ahead and get right back up see don't just lay down on the ground ain't nothing worse than watching a boxing match and, and the dude just lay on the ground but ain't nothing better when you see somebody trying to get back up see when somebody trying to get back up you know what i'm saying it encourages you because because they remind you that they may be down, but they're not out. Their knees may be buckling. But guess what? They standing back up. So you can't just lay on the ground. You understand? You got to get back up. And what does Jesus do? Well, I had another water bottle I was going to pour into this one and, and fill it up. But, I, hey, I don't know where it's at. But, look, I'm going to use my hat. You know what I'm saying? Imagine this is a new water bottle. Check it out. What he want to do? He want to fill you all the way up. So guess what? Now I look at you. You full of the word. You full of his presence. You done been reminded of who you are. You looking around like, Lord, I want to be used. Lord, I love you so much. And listen, what God wants you to understand, what God wants you to understand is that we're in the last days. And you have to be one of the people who are holding that light in the midst of a dark world. What's the first thing everybody does in your household or in your neighborhood or in whenever all the electricity go out? What they looking for? A candle, a flashlight, uh, a cell phone with a light on. They're looking for whatever they can find that's in, that's in close proximity of them. Why? To just light it up just, just a little bit. They don't, they don't need no big giant light. All they need to be able to see is just a little bit around them and they can find their way around the home. In this dark world, people are looking for who's holding that light which is jesus christ and you got to be on your post or else ain't no they're gonna pass you right up people are looking for the light 
I'm trying to tell you, but you got to remain full so that you're attentive to what God is showing you around you. God can show you, oh, that person's hurting. Can you pray for that person? I need you to speak to that person. I need, I need you to, I need you to share, uh, I need you to share my word with that person. You understand? That's how God wants to use you. You know, I'm trying to tell you, man, listen, hey, your best days are ahead of you. And I'm not just saying that just to say it. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to give you hope in a bright future. And another translation says hope in an expected end. So what does that mean? Now that you got the revelation from this video, choose to turn back to God and say, Lord, I understand. Well, you know what? How about we just pray together? You know, instead of me, you know, saying to do this, let's just let's just pray together. So join with me in prayer. Lord, I come to you today not to ask you for anything, but to thank you for everything. I just thank you for giving me the revelation from this video. I want to be used by you. Any shyness, I ask that you replace it with spiritual boldness. Any insecurities, I, I pray, Lord, that you feel me with the security of your word to understand that I'm more than a conqueror. Understand that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm made in your image. When I look in the mirror, I may not like what I see, but I choose to change my perspective and understand that you made me this way and I'm beautiful. And whoever don't like it, they just don't like it. It's all good. But I'm still chosen. I pray you will use me. Show me who you want me to talk to. Lord, I choose to take action and commit more time to you in your word, more time in prayer, more time thinking about the word. Help me to cut out distractions that hinder me from giving you time. I choose to go on this journey and ask that you would guide me and use me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hey, man, listen. Hey, I'm pumped up over here. I Man, I love you so much. Understand this. God wants to use you. I promise you God wants to use you. All right? So whenever you X off of this video, I need you to do two things, right? First of all, I need you to talk to God, right? Second of all, I need you to get out a, a, a pencil or a, a pen and a little notebook. And I want you to just write a couple of write a couple of ideas out of little things that you need to change up. And maybe something like, hey, you know, stop watching the, the, the movies all day and, and get in my, my 10 minutes of reading. Like, like take some practical steps. So you got to put it on paper. The mind forgets. But when you put it on paper, it stay there. You know what I'm saying? Take these practical action uh, action steps uh, to, you know, to further develop you. I love you so much. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you, uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but you know, you know the routine. Hit the like button. If you appreciate these videos, subscribe to the channel. New videos every single day, 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. I love you all so much. If you made it to the end of this video, all the way to the end, I need you to write these words down in the comment section. Write down, say, well, hold on. What am I about to say? Oh, put it on paper. All right. That's what I want you to do. Put it on paper. Ain't nothing like putting something on paper because guess what? That to-do list going to look at you all day long. If it's in your phone in the notes section, you're going to lose that because what you're going to do, you're going to create another note and write something else and you're going to get all mixed up. You put that thing on paper, that to-do list going to be looking right at you and guess what? You got to look at that and that's a reminder. Hey, I'm taking these action steps for God. I love you so much. I'll see you in the very next video.